Howdy folks, Eric Mold Warrior here. Another interesting place that I'm walking today is the Whittemore Peterson Institute. I actually waited for this place to be built so I could come up and tell them about mold at ground zero for chronic fatigue syndrome, which I did. So they all know about it and have since 2009. But strangely, are uh, not very interested in it. I actually helped move the uh, Dr. Judy Mikovic's lab up into the new wing. Right up there. Just so that I'd have an opportunity to uh, tell them what I know about the inception of this syndrome. Here's the service entrance where we carried in the equipment. Much to my amazement, Dr. Lombardi actually remembers me from 1994 when I hit the wall in my moldy house and showed up in Dr. Peterson's office. I described how I was ripping up the carpet, doing everything I can to identify the substance in my house that was doing this to me, and he remembers the whole thing. So we discussed it. And have many, many times since then. I've probably made a hundred trips up here. It seems inconceivable to me that uh, the Chronic Fatigue Syndrome Institute would be so silent on the matter of how this syndrome began. And that now we have Dr. Brewer finally taking an interest, as he uh, described in 2012, running across the concept of mold for the first time which is rather peculiar that uh, nobody mentioned it to him and that when he finally did start looking into mold they didn't say hey you know we have an actual incline village survivor and prototype for the syndrome who's out hiking his butt off as a result of a strategy of mold avoidance When his paper, when Dr. Brewer's paper came out, I uh, contacted him and he was indeed surprised, or so he said, to hear that we knew about mold all along. So I think it's his responsibility to step up and say something because I'm still getting hung out to dry with this thing. Dr. Peterson isn't listening. The CFS institutes aren't listening. Dr. Klimas is pretending that uh, she never heard of it before, even though Dr. Shoemaker and I told it to her at the 2009 conference. So I'm feeling a little uh, let down by our scientific institutions. And that's why I'm making these videos. So that people will know that something's funny going on. 